Arun, or Arun from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. He writes to me, he says, I've heard the term phase tossed around a lot in audio circles, but I'm not entirely clear what it means or how to tell if something is out of phase or in phase, right? Does phase alignment between drivers really make that much of a difference to sound quality? What does it sound like when phase is off? I'm wondering if the reasons my imaging sometimes seems fuzzy or the bass feels disconnected could be phase related. How can I check and what's the best way to correct it? Woo, that's a can of worms. Um, well, phase is the angle at which something works at. So picture a sine wave going like this, right? And if it has a zero phase angle, it's everything is working in time, hitting this top point right at the point that you want. If you were to have a leading phase, say by 10 degrees, then the top of the sine wave would move in time by 10, 10 degrees, right? So as we go up, you, that's going to come before the body of the sine wave comes. Before, if you compare an in phase to an out of phase, something is happening before what you want with no phase forward or a delayed phase. And if it goes too much, I can't do that with my hands. <laughs> if it's 180 degrees out of phase, then as one is going up, the other is going down in voltage, right? So voltage going up, voltage going down. And if they're aligned, so one's up and one's down, and you put the two together, they cancel, right? As it's going up, it's going down, and you get zero. If you have a phase angle that is not 180 degrees, it's 100 degrees, well, that at some point it's going to add, and some point it's going to subtract, and you get a phasey sound to it. Now, that's the simple explanation. In general, when we have phase issues in a stereo system, you don't hear this elimination. You, 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 you hear it. It's hard to describe how you hear it, but it is real, and it definitely makes a difference. So let's take subwoofers. He asks about subwoofers. So if a lot of subwoofers have continuous phase adjustments so that the wave hits at the same time as everything else and it's in phase, it's not lagging and it's not leading a little bit because your ear is very sensitive to phase. So on a subwoofer, you can move it, you can use a continuously variable phase control to change the angle, whether it's leading or lagging phase, how it is lining up with everything else. And when it locks in, what do we hear? In perfect phase alignment, it just sounds coherent. Everything sounds right. And when it's off, your brain is just going, something's wrong, something's off, especially in the bass. It's just not quite out of time, but you know, as the impact comes, it doesn't happen exactly lining up. And your ear is very sensitive to that. High frequency phase in tweeters, prevalent problem. You hear it a lot. You hear it where a, a, a cymbal hit. You can hear the body of the cymbals over here, but maybe the top end's kind of over here. It, it, it affects imaging rather dramatically. So lots of stuff to phase, probably more than I can cover here in this video, but yeah, it's important. That's what it is, and you want to get a loudspeaker system that is phase coherent. So ask your vendor, ask your dealer, ask us, you know, is this phase coherent? And if not, is it somewhere in an audio band that I hear, and what can I do about it? All right? I hope that helps. Thanks. Mm -hmm.